In the previous lecture, we have learned that a strategy is the plan to achieve objectives. Now let's have a closer look at the actual objectives of an information security strategy. In order to define objectives, we have to start where we are currently at, the so-called current state. This is where your business stands today in terms of information security. The so-called desired state is basically a snapshot of everything security related at some time in the future. Now, when it comes to the desired state, we have to consider multiple components that should be targeted by an information security strategy. First, we have principles, policies, and frameworks. These are the bedrock for our strategy, the guiding lights that dictate how information security is approached and managed. They can be based on industry standards and best practices tailored to fit your business's unique needs and objectives. Next is the organizational structure. This defines how your security team is built, how it interacts with each other, with other departments, and where decision-making power lies. A well-defined structure ensures that everyone knows their role in maintaining security. Then we have culture, ethics, and behavior. The human element is often the most unpredictable in security, making a culture of awareness and ethical behavior crucial. This means fostering an environment where security is everyone's responsibility and ethical practices are the norm. Let's not forget about information. This is what you're protecting. A desired state ensures that all data from customer details to trade secrets is classified, handled and stored securely and in compliance with regulations. Now consider the processes. These are the day-to-day -day activities and procedures that keep your information security strategy running smoothly. They ensure that security measures are not just theoretical, but are actively practiced and continuously improved. You also have services, infrastructure and apps. This encompasses the technology that supports your business from the network and service to the applications your team uses daily. In the desired state, these are not just secure, but also resilient, able to withstand and recover from attacks. Lastly, we focus on people, skills and competencies. Your team is your greatest asset and potentially your biggest vulnerability. Investing in their training, ensuring they have the right skills and fostering a competent security workforce is essential. In summary, the desired state of an information security strategy is a comprehensive, well-oiled machine. Each component from principles and processes to people and technology works together seamlessly to protect your business and support your overall objectives. Now, the objectives of an information security strategy support organizations in achieving the following outcomes. First, strategic alignment. The strategy we craft is not off on its own. It needs to be aligned with the organization's overall strategy and objectives. This means the desired future state of your security should directly support and enhance the business's aims and aspirations. The next outcome our objectives should support is effective risk management. A security program must include policies, processes, and procedures that identify, assess, and mitigate risks effectively. Value delivery is another crucial outcome. The resources that are poured into security should yield results, driving continual improvement and efficiency. So reduce risks at a reasonable cost without spending too much and add value to the organization. Closely linked to this is resource optimization. Our strategy should make the best use of what we have, from people to technology. This means being lean and focused, ensuring every asset is utilized effectively to meet our strategic goals. Performance measurement is about making things quantifiable. We need to ensure that our security efforts and business operations are not just effective, but also measurable. This allows management to track progress, understand impact, and drive continual improvement. Lastly, we have assurance process integration. Often organizations have separate assurance processes operating in silos. An effective strategy should integrate these processes, ensuring a cohesive and comprehensive approach to security. A strategy will have strategic objectives by default. Strategic objectives are very high level, almost like from a bird's eye view. In order for the organization to actually accomplish these objectives, we need to translate these strategic objectives into tactical and operational objectives. Let's suppose one of our strategic objectives is to enhance 
the overall security posture to reduce data breach incidents by, let's say, 30% in the next year. Now, this is a clear and measurable goal, but it's quite broad. So how do we make it actionable on the ground? We break it down into tactical and operational objectives. First, on the tactical level, we might set objectives like implement multi-factor authentication across all user accounts within the next six months or conduct quarterly security training for all staff. These objectives are, are more specific than our strategic goal, targeting particular areas that contribute to the larger aim. They are about how we plan to achieve the strategy in specific areas or departments. Then we move to the operational level, which is even more detailed and focused on the day-to-day -day actions. For the tactical objective of implementing multi-factor authentication, an operational objective could be complete an audit of current user accounts for multi-factor authentication readiness by the end of the month or begin multi-factor authentication rollout with IT department staff as a pilot group within, let's say, the next two weeks, for example. Now, by translating strategic objectives into tactical and operational objectives, we create a clear path from the high-level goal to the everyday actions. This approach ensures that the entire organization is aligned and working effectively towards the same end goal. It's about making the lofty and ambitious targets attainable by defining the steps needed to get there on every level of the organization.